There's a better way to manage your out of stock products in WooCommerce. And if you're not doing this yet, I guarantee you're losing sales. So today let's talk about back orders. First, I'll show you how to enable this feature, but that alone is not going to be enough to recover those lost sales. Because you see, there's a problem that can't be solved in WooCommerce alone. We need just one plugin to not only fix this, but make the experience 10 times better for your customers. But I'll get to that later in the video. For now, let's start with the basics. Here's how you can put products on back order in WooCommerce. First of all, check that WooCommerce is set to manage stock by going to the main settings page and clicking on the products and inventory tab. Check the box to enable stock management and have a look at the other settings to make sure that you're happy with them. Then click on save changes. Now we'll go back to our products screen and click on any product that you want to add to back order meaning that you've ordered new stock and it's yet to arrive. Go to the inventory tab in the product data screen and first select this option to manage stock for this product. And you can select how many are in the quantity. At the moment, we just have one and the rest are coming to us from the supplier. Now in this next option, you can allow back orders by changing it to one of these two options, either saying allow or allow but notify customer, which is the recommended option in this case. This will allow customers to still order this product even when it's out of stock. Then don't forget to save changes by clicking the update button. Now if we view the product, you'll see that there's only one in stock and it can be back ordered. If we go back to the product inventory and change the quantity to zero, you can see there's no longer any available in stock, but they are available on back order. I'm going back to the all products screen because you can also modify multiple products at once using the checkboxes here and the bulk actions to edit. And down here, you can change the stock management here. So you can change the stock status. You can change the manage stock option to yes and set the quantities. And here is the back order option. Again, you can allow with notifications. And for all of the items that you selected, these will update all at once when you click on this update button. So be careful not to mess up your stock levels. But you might have already figured out that this approach has some pretty big limitations. When we selected the notify option, it does tell customers that they can order it on back order, but it doesn't give them any indication of how long that's going to take. So they have no idea when they can expect their product. And if we visit some product listing pages like this one here, you can see that there's actually no information on this listing page about this item being out of stock or on back order. I can still add it to my basket, but it doesn't tell me that it's out of stock or that it'll take longer for it to arrive. This is really no better than seeing the item as out of stock. And as a customer, it's actually even more frustrating because you can add it to your basket and order it, but you have no idea when it's going to arrive. Personally, I'd be hopping straight over to a competitor shop. And that's why you're still going to be losing sales if you manage your stock this way. Luckily, there are two things that you can do to enable better backorder management. First, you can display clear information about new stock arrival on product pages. So customers can get an idea of the waiting time for their products. And optionally, you can display stock status on the main shop page. Although there is a separate step for this, which I'll get into later. As I mentioned, we need a plugin to help us display these stock status updates. And for this, I'm using WooCommerce lead time, which allows us to display accurate stock status messages on our products. Customers can then happily order products which are on back order while fully understanding when they will be sent. And we can rest easy knowing that we'll earn those sales that might have gone elsewhere. You can view the demo or purchase a copy of this plugin for your own site by clicking on the first link in the description below. Follow the instructions after purchase to install and activate the plugin. Then I'll show you how it works in these next steps. Head over to WooCommerce settings, then click on the products tab. And finally, the lead time tab, which is added by the plugin. 
and then you can configure all of the plugins settings. You can see your license key here if you haven't entered it yet. Then scroll down and we can see the rest of the settings down here. First of all, we can choose where these lead times or back order statuses will be displayed. So in this case, I've chosen to display them everywhere, including the cart, checkout, and the main shop and category pages. We can also choose to display lead times for in stock, out of stock, and products on back order. If you want, you can just enable the out of stock and products on back order in this case, as that will be the most useful. For in stock products, that depends if they have a lead time, like a time to be assembled or built. Now these are global settings to display the lead time based on the type of stock status it has. If you don't want to display the lead time for in stock products as they just have normal shipping times, then you can uncheck this box up here and they will no longer be displayed. However, for out of stock products, you can give a global lead time, something like 14 days, or you can change it to a dynamic lead time and you'll have to choose a date in the future when these stock items will arrive. Now, this would be if you're ordering, let's say, all of your items at the same time and they're all set to arrive on the same day, as this is a global setting, but it can be overridden on individual product pages. And then this is the one we're most concerned with, the products on back order. So we can start by writing something like on back order for, and this is like a prefix of something that comes before the amount of time. And here at the bottom, you can see the lead time units are set to days. So 30 days is the static lead time. But that's just how we set up the global rules. Once we save changes, we can then go to any of our products and we can see that this barn two beanie is on back order. If I click on edit and we go back to the inventory tab, we can see we have these new lead time options. So because this is a product on back order, we can change this to a dynamic schedule and we can choose a date in the future when we expect the products to arrive and then click on save or update. We'll go back to this product, refresh the page, and you can see that now it says on back order for eight days because the products are set to arrive at the end of the month. As I mentioned, you can optionally add our WooCommerce product table plugin to display these different back order status and stock statuses on the main shop page. This handy plugin lists your products in a neat table layout along with their stock statuses on your shop and category pages. The table includes way more information than WooCommerce normally displays on these pages, which can include a stock column. That way customers can see which products are on back order and how long they'll be waiting without having to visit these individual product pages. You can test out a live demo of WooCommerce product table, again, using the links in the description. And I've also included a link to a tutorial video, which will show you how to enable that stock column. It's always been tricky to sell physical products online because of the logistical problems with inventory, but there is a way to sell products that never go out of stock. Check out my guide to selling virtual products in this video here, or give our lead time plugin a try with this link. And of course, thanks for watching.